16.7. Peter Wright averaged 115.3. That's how good those last five <laughs> legs were. 100. Staggering. Forty-five. Still has the feeling this of going the distance, doesn't it? Great effort so far from Peter Wright. One hundred. Every oh, time he'd be Taylor praying for to hit back. He'd be praying just to throw a couple of twelve dart legs and get within one. One hundred and sixty. Sounds very simple. Hold your throat three times and you beat Phil Taylor. <laughs> but it isn't. 100. Yeah, three consecutive tons for Peter Wright. That's OK as it stands. Does all. It continues to make me chuckle when a player hits a ton and his average comes 131. down. 131. How times have changed. Again, Taylor. Bang on the money on both treble 19 and treble 18. 105. To leave a two data. 100. He's here at 96. Can Peter Wright hold it together? The 116 he took out to win the 14th leg was. Monumental. It's a double double. It's a reasonable marker. Yeah, I can see why he stayed there. It's the right decision to stay yeah, there. Well, it would almost, if you got near to it, it would just bump in off that previous start. This is massive. Trouble 19. So he won't, he won't get a dart at a double. Disappointment etched all over the face of Philip Taylor. Tops for Peter Wright. To go 9-7 in front. Edging ever closer. Thoroughly enjoyable semi-final. And Adrian Lewis against Michael Van Gerwen still to come. This is almost the starter to the main course. Okay, good last dart from Peter Wright. 50 scores of 100 or more now for Peter Wright. 97. We have trouble 19 coming to Taylor's rescue of late. 8 came at a, a great time for Taylor. 90. Yet again, he manages to lift the two darts over the first dart underneath the bed. That is one of the great performances from Peter Wright. Great shot. 140. They start on 19s. Five of them leave 170. Seven of them leave 132. Cancel that. Oh, another trouble 20. Oh, I just couldn't quite lift that one over on that occasion. No. So Taylor, six start from one, seven, nine. 80 left. Oh. 99. Well, 140 would put pressure on, wouldn't it? 100. Just Three, enough, one, I think. 80. How many darts will he get at this double? One or two? Two. Yeah, yeah really good. Really good from Taylor. 9 8 it is. Who is going to blink? Peter Wright. 
hold his throw. Doesn't look edgy, does he? Twice more. He must be feeling it. Look at those averages. <laughs> top, top tungsten. 70. Tension has just gone up Whoa. a notch or two. Now edging closer to the winning line. A nod of acknowledgement from Peter Wright. That flies back. Yeah. Taylor will refocus. Had to respond. 140. Well, in the leg. And need a Peter Wright special here. Lift it over. That's one of them. 100. Left to finish. Do, yep. Taylor can break back. We go to a decider. He would have the dart. So, still all to play for. Oh. Very tense. 95. Peter Aguilar, 161. That's a beauty. I think he's going to stay up because Taylor isn't on a finish. May go for the ball. I like that shot. Guarantees him two darts at a double. Measured approach. Sensible approach. And now he's got to finish it off again. 50 minutes. Move. 56. Within one. Yeah, uh, so three out of three on top for Peter Wright to go one away from the World Series final. Three legs to go. Taylor's got to win the lot. Yet again, we've seen Taylor. Playing near to the top of his game, 104.30 average, 18 140s, 4 180s, 44% on the finishing. He could be on the end, yet another defeat. Well, the adrenaline will be pumping. Peter Wright, can he finish off this semi final? 96. Again, another example of those darts just entering the board and moving right. Done it again. Great 140 from Peter Wright. Frankly, the amount of times he does that. Now Taylor. 85. Only 85, so. Another 140 here from Peter Wright. He's in the box seat. Perfect lie. Perfect. Perfect! Oh, what a response from Taylor. Taylor's left tops, but right to win it. Out two, a double, 12. Oh! Wow, what a chance. It's come and it's gone. Tops for Taylor. Only one out of five. Yeah, Two out of seven now at that target. Well, the treble 19 was so good, you just expected the double 12 to follow. But this is a good response. Throwing for the match, having already blown two match darts. The only good thing about that was it was against the darts that he had those two. Now, a massive advantage throwing first in the leg. 
He has to win to get over the line. Ooh, a sloppy one. Great recovery. Another one of those. That's fantastic. You have to say, after the single one, that's quite outstanding throwing from Peter Wright. It's adjustment around the 60. Second to none. That could be it. Even if Taylor gets a 180 on his next visit, he's going to leave 100. a finish. 100 to leave a finish. Oh, 45. Now then. He tried to find a gap that wasn't there. Taylor looking at 140. Now we'll switch. 99. Six starts from 195 for Peter Wright to go through to the World Series final. Incredible tension here in Glasgow. You can feel it. Peter Wright within touching distance, but here comes Taylor. 135. Peter Wright, 95. Should go the ball. Treble 18 tops. No, what is it? Dear. Well, this Peter Wright blow. missed two match darts. This would be typical Taylor. Treble 19. No. So Peter Wright has missed two match darts. The heart will be pounding. He's going to get two more. For a place in the World Series final. Peter Wright with an outstanding performance. He gets it very, very right. And Phil Taylor, the number one seed. He won three World Series events in 2015, but he won't be in the grand finale here in Glasgow. Epic semi-final. And it's Peter Wright who goes through to play either Adrian Lewis or Michael Van Gerwen. Fabulous game. Wright wins it. 11-9. Both of them had Pretty similar averages of 104, seven 180s for Wright. He converted 50% of his double attempts and he's beaten Taylor for the first time in their four World Series knockout meetings this year. Snake Bite now will meet either Michael Van Gerwen or Adrian Lewis in tonight's final. And Peter Wright's talking to Ned Bolting now. That's right, another final, Peter. You've been here so many times before, but what a tremendous way to do it. And what a, once again, you've beaten Phil Taylor before in the televised event. You've done it again now, but every time it happens, it's a significant scalp, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, I mean, most definitely. You, you know, you've got to play really well to beat Phil. I uh, had the bonus of being a home crowd, uh, and they inspired me and got behind me and helped me win. Uh, you know, uh, Phil missed a few doubles, and I, I just punished him for it, to be honest. Yeah, I mean... Phil would have expected the stick that he, he got from the crowd, but he kind of looked like he blanked it out, focused on his game. His standard was incredibly high. You were so consistent, though. Yeah, I was just trying to... Uh, obviously, I got a few legs lead on him, and I thought, right, I'm trying to let him come back, because, you know, he's, he's fantastic. And uh, I was just like, hold your throw, hold your throw. And that's all was going through my head. Just hold your throw, and you can win this match. And, and eventually I did. <laughs> And I'm going to release you very soon because you've got, not got long to prepare now for the final, but now it's about that last critical step, isn't it? And gathering your thoughts and doing it all again in the, in the big one. Yeah, that's right. You know, uh, obviously, I don't want... Uh, sorry, Terry Jenkins. I don't want to be <laughs> uh, nicknamed uh, Terry. Uh, they runner up in finals all the time. Uh, so hopefully you can have that little bit more push and the help from the crowd, and hopefully I can maybe win this. Well, listen, that was a stunning semi-final. Good luck in the final. Cheers. Thank you.